Welcome to another episode of Jenny's Chateau Farm. In this episode, I want to tell you the story of these doors. We had them fitted almost exactly a year ago, and I'll show you footage of that because it was quite an endeavor. They're about 250 kilograms each, and it was no small order to get them to fit. And why is it that this door over here is so decrepit? At the time, we fully intended to have a matching smaller door just there, but we're still stuck with this decrepit one because unfortunately, not everything is as it seems with these doors. And I'll tell you why at the end of the video. The other doors that I wanted to show you are these wonderful doors on the ground floor hallway. These doors open onto the salon And we have identical doors opening onto what will be the dining room. Now, you might not notice straight away, but they are in fact faubois or trompe l'oeil effect. So they are wood painted to look like more expensive wood. And this was very much the style at the time when this house was built. But I absolutely love them and they are part of one of the original features of this house. So although we will be painting the hallway, we'll be removing this wallpaper and painting it the yellow pink that you saw in a previous episode, I think it will complement these doors rather nicely. Now we also have the same effect at either end of the hallway on the external doors, but there they had to paint it onto the plaster to give the same tombloy effect. And that hasn't fared so well over the years and has had to be replastered at various stages. But one day I would love to be able to recreate this effect, if at all possible. If I can find someone to, to come and show me how to do it, then I, I think I'd have more confidence to do a good job of it. But at the moment it seems like quite a tricky thing to do. But that's on my list to do for the future. Now these doors, our front doors, also have an interesting story to tell. If you have a look at old postcards, you'll see that these rectangular parts were originally made in wood. But at some point, I think possibly in the 1970s, they were swapped to be all glass. And this allows much more light to flow through the hallway of the house, which is beautiful because this side faces east and the other west. This door leads to the main hallway and this door leads to the service kitchen. And unusually for a house in this region, they wanted it to be so symmetrical that it had two front doors. But I think they're rather beautiful and the glass effect makes it feel a little bit like you live in an orangerie, which I think is fabulous. However, when we were exploring our outbuildings, we found the original doors out where the animals used to live and we've brought them in and cleaned them up as best as we could because we're planning to use them in the attic. So let's go on upstairs and I'll show you what we're planning to do with the old doors.
Jason's been here helping me with the painting today and he's the man who's going to fit the old front doors up here in the attic. So this door just here goes through to the control room and the live room and it'll be all very modern in there. We thought, or rather my husband thought, that it might be a cool idea to bring up the old front doors, bring them back into the house and put them here in this otherwise very modern attic. So how is it going to work? How are we going to fit them? Um, we're going to fit the doors, um, we're building a wooden frame completely around the door so all this will be hidden and it will look like the two doors will just open out this way so you've got the then door and you'll just walk on through. So this one will be like a fake door because there's a wall here and yeah. this will be a double door which might seem weird but that's kind of normal for a recording studio. Absolutely and also you're, bringing, you're using, reusing the um, front doors of the house instead of just binning them so it's a, it's a crack, cracking idea. So we're going to go back a year now and show you all the hard work that Jason and his son Taylor did fitting those huge gates in the arch. At the end, you'll find out why not everything is quite as it seems. Quite right. Very exciting this morning. The doors for our arch have arrived. There are, I don't know how many tons of tropical har hardwood called Ayu. And uh, we've got a little machine to hold them up while they're being installed and they're just coming off the back of the truck now. Bonjour. Morning, how are you? <laughs> I got, you, I got you on camera. It's so, it's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> well, so his fork can't take it off because it won't reach high enough. Right. So he's got to move the truck so you can lift it off. Yeah. Right, and then we. Eat some well, I would much prefer it to lift them off because as soon as it comes up, now I'm lifting. It's my responsibility. Yeah. So I wanted him to actually deliver it yeah. rather than it be on too Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. So if you didn't catch that, the red hook on the truck uh, has a bit at the top, not just the hooks at the bottom. It's got a bit at the top, and it can't be tall enough to reach the top and the bottom of the doors to lift the doors off. So we're going to have to use the, dream, the green truck that Jason's in instead and hopefully he won't drop them. Um, but also our car behind me there, um, if we don't move it out now, it's going to be stuck inside the walled enclosure here for 24 hours. So we want to get our car out first. Okay, one car out the way. <laughs> then the uh, truck can reverse back into place so that Jason can hopefully lift the doors off the truck without dropping them. So beautiful. Look at them. Well, a bit of a traffic jam here this morning now we're causing. But he's lifted them, they're off the truck. They seem to be balancing. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> they won't be long. Nearly done now, as long as he doesn't drop it. Taylor's holding it up, so that's good. Yes! Nicely done. Ooh, touchdown. Well done. <laughs> Cup of coffee after that. <laughs> Why do you need such big doors? <laughs> Don't mind us, they all I'm doors. I would do a bit of fence up. <laughs> exactly. Or a sign. So, how does this actually work? <laughs> Are you using around. those holes? Yeah, those, got, those are coming out. Now, okay. You've not... go you got these four hangers that... Yeah. That they'll obviously go in one, two, three and four. Right. Um, they'll be resined in. Right. So you've got drill holes in the wall drill here. Drill holes in the wall on the angle. Uh, right. Oh, um, uh, right. Like that. No. In like that. Just straight like that. Yeah, yeah. straight like that. And there's a big tongs. And you put it in and yeah. you clip, clip down on the top. Oh. Okay. All being well. Right. Put that in and just see how, what they're like. They're not that bad. Okay. You just do check. Right, okay. Oh, brilliant. Piece of cake, yeah. Just uh, balsa wood. Ooh. <laughs> no, we're just really strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope they fit. Can you whip and get your tape for me, please? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll get the ladder out and get those cut off. Right, so the old fixings for the previous doors are still in uh, that little thing there and it's iron and it's cracked the stone work there so we're going to take those off we can uh, tidy up that stone work at a later date but for now we have to get the iron fixings out of the way and there will be new iron fixings put in along this seam and hopefully the arch of the doors are going to fit into this arch. We have to get the tape measure, check they're all going to fit. And then we'll probably need to scrape away the space here so that the doors can swing open because the ground is not level um, and uh, there'll be soil in the way. So, yeah, I'll do that after they're fitted. But yeah, once the holes are drilled and the hinges are stuck in, then the holes are filled with resin and the resin needs to sit for 24 hours or more to solidify and so that's why they'll have to be shut for 24 hours and that's why we wanted to get the car out or we're locked in Ah, c'est pour moi Oui, okay. uh, c'est pour moi <laughs> <laughs> Ok Voilà Merci beaucoup, il faut signer quelque chose Non, non, non c'est ça C'est payé, donc euh, okay. maintenant euh... Ok, merci <laughs> Allez, bon week-end Bonne journée à vous See if they actually fit then, eh? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, they've been waiting to be delivered and they got a bit rained on, so they're a little bit stained, water stained. But that will dry up. be uh, oil, they'll have some preservative oil applied so that will darken the wood a little bit but yeah we need to look after these need them to last a long time oh look at the beautiful little fish tails oh gorgeous and this is the uh, part of the locking mechanism So the central lever will make these bits go up and down and lock into the top and bottom. And then in the middle, we got these two locks. That's the hanger. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So you make a hole that big. Ah, and mesh. Have a cigar. Yeah, yeah. 
perfect um, umidor. Fill it with resin in the hole. That goes in. Then you put the tongue in the top through the hole. So. All right. All being well should be so good. So you check you've got them all in the right place and then put the resin in. <laughs> so we, we, put, we put the holes in now. Yeah. The doors up. Yeah. Um, the doors go in, all um, braced into place, and then we drill the holes. Right. So this little thing, you right. mark, it goes in the hole, drill it through there. So ah. it's all perfect. Oh, very clever. Yeah. Somebody's done this before then, eh? Not, this, not these bigger doors. Really? Yeah, oh, sh oopsie. <laughs> try, try and leave some of the stonework up there. <laughs> so are these um, for bracing, these planks? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to we're we're try and get them off and lay them down. Right. And then we'll know which, exactly which one to put up first. Because obviously the one with the, Cause of the lock, lock one will go up first right. and then the second one will sip into it. Yeah. And then we'll wedge it, make sure everything's fits. Yeah. So that'll be the plan. Our best china that is. <laughs> That's what you use these for. Yeah. <laughs> now the real test is can you drive it around like that? <laughs> yeah, that would be a test. It bounces around a bit much but the windscreen wipers don't work. Oh that, was, that, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> 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 Help yourself, have your coffee yeah. while it's warm. Got Thank biscuits you. and everything. Oh, yeah, don't yeah. Eat it. <laughs> Very civilised. <laughs> Hand painted china, don't you know? Yeah. <laughs> Got this off, um, what's that program? Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> we took it there. Got the Manitou over there. We've done the fives and hours. No, I think. Really? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome. Just be careful when we take it up. Yeah. Hopefully we can keep that balanced on there. We've got to put those big doors up. <laughs> They're a lot lighter than my foot. Or yeah. we're a lot stronger, don't we? <laughs> I think that's just adrenaline this morning. Because it's supposed to be 250 kilos each. Oi, oi, oi. So it's a, a lot, a lot of weight. If you just um, stop there, Right, that's fine, but just unreel it all because of the heat of the wire. So take it, if you walk backwards with it, just be easier to roll up. No, leave that there, and just walk with the wire. <laughs> Sorry, it's too early still. Yeah, I know. Sorry <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, been... we'll unroll them, just so you know. If you're using something powerful that gets so hot it can um, catch fire. Yeah, you get the magnetic yeah. current thing going, you've got to unroll it, yeah. Yeah, my dad told me that. Whoa. Did you get a shock? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> try it. Burning in your hair. Yeah, I feel it start itching. So it's uh, the end of the day. I've just been charging up this camera because the battery died and the doors are in. They are finished. They're just scraping to open the doors.
the front of these doors is still beautiful the back of the doors tells a different story if you have a look every single screw here has stained the wood black and that's because unfortunately when this door was built they didn't use stainless steel screws and this is not only staining the door it's affecting the integrity of the structure of the door and since the manufacturers guarantee it for 10 years, they have now had to replace the entire door. So they've actually been really good. They didn't argue, they completely immediately took full responsibility and started work on a new set of doors. However, with things as they are, it's not that easy to get hold of hardwood. So the new doors will be built from red cedar and these ones are Ayu. I absolutely love the smell of them and given their size they're actually quite lightweight but the uh, red cedar will apparently be even more durable and a bit more heavy and they will be using stainless steel screws. Now Jason and Taylor did a wonderful job of fitting the old doors but now they're gonna have to do it all over again. <laughs> and take these ones down. So hopefully it will be a bit of an easier job because they will have used these as templates for the new doors. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider clicking on that subscribe button below. It won't cost you a penny, but it makes a huge difference to help our channel grow. And while you're at it, why not click on the notification bell? That's way you'll be the first to know when the new doors arrive and when our other episodes are uploaded. You never know, if enough of you subscribe, I might be able to convince my husband to share many more shutter hunting tips and possibly even to join us on camera. So take care for now and I'll see you again next time.